actually been wearing a very special shirt during this broadcast and that is the NBA shirt down mm -hmm. here if you can see and that is all in celebration for the first ever NBA Filipino Heritage Week and of course that's in celebration of all the Pinoy fans across the world who love NBA. We know how much we all love basketball. Boom, you've been to the NBA several times to cover the games. Right. Do you ever spot Pinoy's from oh, the crowd? Oh, a lot. We, me and TJ have had the uh, pleasure of taking pictures with Pinoy's and meeting them randomly. Um, you know, the Philippine, there, there, there were Filipino heritage days in the NBA. Like, Golden State would celebrate that every now and then, as you know, in the Bay Area. That's a big Filipino community, so they would have that. But that's why you said first ever, because it's never been a week. And we're talking about, you know... So clearly the, fan gro the fandom is growing. Yeah, definitely. a and, week. And that's exactly what it is. And the NBA is celebrating two things. Number one, it's the culture of the Pinoy mm -hmm. that they acknowledge and they know, especially through social media, they, they know it's such a huge thing. We and have the NBA love. stars following we Filipino do. celebrities. We do. We do. Uh, we do. I know yeah. Stephen Gray follows... Daniel Padilla. Yeah, kita mo. So, Siyempre, fan ako kay Daniel. Yeah. So. so, it's big. And the love of the game. The Pinoy's love of the game, as you mentioned, that is what the NBA is celebrating this week. And then you have, you know, games like which involve uh, Miami, who, whose head coach is a Filipino-American who comes over to the country a lot. And then, of course, like you said, Golden State. Uh, these are the schedules on your screens. Miami, twice mag maglalaro yan within the week. Okay, so in celebration of Filipino Heritage Week, of course, the Golden State Warriors and Miami Heat will be hosting the event and they have an in-arena Filipino-themed activities and performances and some Filipino performers will also be there. Perfect. Martin Nevera will be there performing yeah, in honor of all the Filipino fans. But don't want to worry, Kapamilya, if you're here in the Philippines and if you're not in the States, we do have special viewing schedules for all of you. You just have to go to the Globe Iconic Bonifacio High Street Amphitheater on March 18 at 8 a.m. for the Heat versus Timberwolves game. And then the next day at March 19, 10.30 a.m. are the Warriors against the Bucks. So that should be very interesting. Yeah, and uh, just as a footnote, there's a bigger community, Filipino community, obviously in the Bay Area for Golden State. But the reason why there are also two Miami games there is again, Filipino the American, coach. the head coach. Sometimes we take that for granted. We have a Filipino American. We do, we do. Who is a champion. And he's been featured many times on ABS-CBN times. Sports as well. Yeah, he was interviewed by Filipino journalists this morning uh, to, to kick off this celebration for Filipino heritage. Heritage Week, which again is celebrating uh, the Pinoy culture and the love of basketball. All Should of be us exciting. love basketball. Everyone in exciting. the Philippines, all the Pinoys love basketball, no matter where in the world you are. So if you, Kapamilya, if you're interested, just log on to www.nba.com to find out more information. But for now, we all know that you're eager to get Game 1 going, and I'll turn it over to that? Boom, our you pa trending me? panel member. Are you joining for me for game number one? So I hope so. You do this show so well. You should do it thank alone. Thank you. Right? Thank you, Boom. All right. So we won't keep you waiting any longer, Kapamilya. Game 1 is just about to start. We have the UE Lady Warriors up against the UP Lady Maroons. My name is Lara Lehman. Thanks for joining me here on Upfront at the UAP. We'll see you for part number 2.